Hello, this is Dimitri49 with Product Feedback. In this video, we'll be comparing two video fluid heads. Both are from Manfrotto. One will be the 700RC2, which is targeted towards budget conscious video makers and just anybody who are in need of a video fluid head. And the second contender will be the 701HDV, which carries a heavier price tag, but it does carry more features. It is larger. It can support larger cameras. And overall, it is a better video fluid head. So we'll see if the extra cost for the 701HDV is worth your money. Uh, so let's take a look at the both heads. So one of the advantages of using the uh, video fluid heads is that it allows you to create a more dynamic shot by adding movement to your footage. So you can turn a very simple shot of just looking at the object by adding movement. So either from the top, from the bottom, anything tilt, pan, anything like that will add more movement to your shot and make it more interesting. The fluid head uses a type of a hydraulic system which allows very smooth movement. Uh, you can either tighten or loosen up the pan or tilt uh, options so that you can either get a very slow and smooth movement or kind of a really fast movement as well and that is a very good feature depending on your situation depending on what you're shooting and video fluid heads are used everywhere around the world from um, people like me who make reviews for YouTube all the way up to professionals who make uh, films and that is something obvious uh, so today we'll be comparing a kind of a consumer product something that uh, a regular consumer like myself will be looking at and seeing which one is better so one of the main differences between the two heads would be its size the 701 is being much larger it does it is much heavier as well and it does have it does feel more solid in general and as you can see there's kind of a dual support system on each side versus the only one single support system on the 700 rc2 this is much lighter uh, it does feel solid as well but not as solid as this one the 700 rc2 can support up to 5.5 pounds which is 2.5 kilograms uh, and the 701 can support 8.82 pounds which is uh, 4 kilograms both video heads have a pan of 360 degrees which means that you can rotate this 360 degrees easily when you are tilting this uh, this uh, 701 hdv head you are only able to tilt it up to 90 degrees this way and only 65 degrees backwards versus 90 degrees this way and because of its small size you can tilt it backwards even further up to 75 degrees uh, tilting it backwards now the main difference between the mounting system is as you can see the mounting plate for the 701 hdv is much larger and as you can see there is a center balance system installed and that is a very good thing so you can you have 55 millimeters of center weight balance uh, that means that if you have a camera with a heavy lens you will adjust this backwards like this so that the entire uh, entire configuration on the tripod and on the head is balanced properly and this gives you kind of a flexible movement depending on what camera you're using depending on what lenses you're using uh, and this one does not have anything like that it just you install the camera into the center and that is something to consider however when you turn this around the 7 100 uh, rc2 does have a better system installed in terms of tightening up the screw and installing the camera onto the mounting uh, plate because here you have this wire easily to handle you can actually tighten the screw without needing any extra equipment versus this one you do need a screw a screwdriver or something flat to screw this in because you cannot screw this tight enough just with your fingers Okay, so now let's talk about the mounting system. You have a mounting plate which slides into place just like so, like this. And as you can see, the mounting plate does slide. And uh, before you secure it, it cannot escape, as you can see, just, just for your protection. Uh, and same thing going backwards, because you have to press this kind of a red button in order to release this. And that will release the mounting plate and that is a good mechanism just in case you when you put the camera installed and something happens this is going to go forward or backwards and it does have uh you know that security your camera won't fall out now securing the mount plate on the actual head you have this knob here 
and that just turns all the way up like that and this is a very good system because uh, you have this knob here which protects it for going for going further like this so that the actual screw won't uh, unscrew itself accidentally and it stays in position like that and when you screw it it doesn't require much all the way like this and that is very tight and that will secure your uh, camera onto the head and that is something very good because at one thing your camera will be sticking out here uh, and so that won't allow the actual uh, knob here to turn all the way down so this is a very good thing they've thought of that and this is something that uh, the 700 RC2 is missing because the same thing mounting plate also slides into place just like so and then you use this knob to secure the uh, mounting plate in place but as you can see there's no such there's no nothing protecting it from going uh, all the unscrewing itself and you have to be really careful installing this installing the actual camera onto the head because the camera will be sticking out here like that and you won't be able to turn this all the way up so this is quite limited to the rotation of this knob so you have to position that carefully before sliding in your camera and then only turn it all the way up uh, in order to secure it and this is something I was figuring trying to figure out exactly how to mount it and only found a way that I have to keep this here and then once I position the camera in place and slide it in I have to tighten it just like so uh, and that's something I, I had trouble with figuring out how to do but I still figured it out so let's take a look at some of the example shots that I took with both of these heads and compare and see which one is smoother so now you're watching a test shot filmed on the 701 HDV. As you can see, it is very smooth. There is absolutely no stuttering in the movement. And just to note, I am using the rubber band trick in order to avoid any vibrations caused by my hand. The next footage is filmed on 700 RC2, and it's also fairly smooth. As you can see, I am using the same trick as with the other, the, using the rubber band to avoid any vibrations and both tilt and pants are fairly smooth however it does carry a big disadvantage as as you tighten the 700rc2 either pan or tilt it does tend to skip as you can see in the following footage so now we compare the two and i think that it is obvious to say that the 701 is the winner of the two it's, uh, it is quite unfair to compare the two because of the big price difference, but uh, the reason why I want to make this video is that for those who are looking to get to buy yourself a video fluid head, then you want to skip kind of a cheaper versions because you won't be completely satisfied with them because of the disadvantages that the 700 RC2 carries. Now 701 does carry a heavier price tag, but it is not significantly enough that you will not be attracted to this product. You'll be very happy for the price tag that you pay for it, and I think it's worth every penny for this, uh, for this fluid head. Speaking strictly in terms of performance, this is a much better fluid head because it allows you much smoother movement either panning or tilting and there's also a larger head so it will support heavier cameras and that is something to consider if you are planning on upgrading down the road thank you guys for watching you can follow us on twitter at product feedback and you can also visit our website productfeedback.com.au where we post all of our reviews we also do written reviews for some of the products and we also have a news section and that will allow you to get in uh, in the game with all the tech related products consumer related products uh, and so thank you guys for watching this has been dimitri 49 with product feedback thank you for watching and stay tuned for more to be updated on the latest product feedback videos make sure that you have subscribed